What? Just to, what? <laughs> I mean, the nothing? playoff. The playoffs for me is, you know, the greatest roller coaster of emotions in sports that you're going to be part of. Because typically, you know, when you don't play this many playoff games in pretty much anywhere else where it's this confined. You know, 94 feet, the proximity of everybody. You, 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 you feel it. You smell it. You taste it. It's all right there. And so for me, in the NBA, this is what it's all about because it changes so drastically from moment, moment to moment, and you saw it right there. Well, yeah, and for me, it's like we didn't see anything from the Raptors after the series against the Cavs, but we all remember how loosey-goosey they were and DeRozan and, and, and Lowry right. after, after they were breezing through the first round, and then all of a sudden reality came in in the, uh, in the form of the Cleveland Cavaliers. Well, the, the playoffs are the greatest reality show in the world because you think about uh let's think about the last month we've been working uh you know boston could have got eliminated in a game seven against milwaukee against milwaukee philadelphia beats up a bad miami team and then everybody says man they might get to the eastern conference finals boston closes that down i was like man philly got a long way to go and you look in the East, you know, Toronto got the best record. They fired their coach. Uh, now out West, we're like, man, I'm so excited. We knew we were going to start out with the Rockets and the Warriors. We knew it was going to be that six, seven months ago. And, uh, man, I don't feel good about this series right now. After one game. After one game. One loss. 119, uh, 106. Because, because I'm going to tell you why I don't feel good about it, Kenny. The Rockets play the way they play. No, but remember I said this, Chuck, the start of the show, they said you could, I said the Rockets could win the series, but they can't win it the way they've been playing. And they don't And they have change. to be uncomfortable and do something different. But they don't. Now, my, I'm just Where's saying, this? Mike D'Antoni is a great offensive mind. He's a great coach. He might say, you know what? I have to do something different. But you had to test the water to see if you could play that way and win. Yeah, but the water's you... tested. It's cold and it's deep. If you go on a war against a juggernaut with four guys that, that are involved, two guys aren't going to beat them. Like, I'm, I'm sitting right down there, and I'm, I'm watching. Which actually had guys, to be at halftime. Yeah, I mean, so like, this is not fun to watch. Yeah, I'm like, I'm sitting there at halftime. They give the ball to James and Paul, and they just go away. There ain't no movement. Like, Clay, you know, we just show he's coming on speed because he knows he's going to touch the ball. And then, you know, shot clock running down, you throw it to another. Not going to be in rhythm. Not going to be ready. You know, a couple times they got the crowd involved. But, you know, when you're playing against a championship team can you know those guys with swag them starting on the road they don't fear that no. you got to take it away you got and you know you can't take it away with one or two guys when they got four or five superstars touching the ball and, play, and, 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 and let me tell you something oh, they, and they embraced it yeah, yeah but did. and also no. ernie the one thing i like what the warriors did they took they went at chris paul and james Harden. i said to you last week i don't see how those guys gonna get 30 30 a night and guard clay and steph you know, they switch everything. Every single time they switch to uh, Kevin or whatever, they went at James Harden got tired. He might not admit it, but they made him, first of all, he was working so hard on just offense. On defense, they went at him also, and he, got, he ran out of gas. Um, before we go to break, we do want to thank uh, the folks of Houston here for all their hospitality. Uh, we've just been here a day, day and Great a half. Town, and, right? and, uh, uh, Great Le city. Levy Restaurants. Yes. Coming up with this action, these cookies, man, I love with, uh, our, uh, with our mugs on them. The TNT face cookies. That's yeah. why you How see that. That's why they call them. They're just in my face, chuckalicious. Oh my gosh. Well, mine is chuckalicious. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we uh, we certainly appreciate the. Chuck, uh, I would love to eat your face. Uh, uh, whoa, whoa. Oh. Pause. No, eat your face you off. Yeah. Remember when Chuck did this? I was, I was, I was, I was, I'm a talent. I, I got learned talk. from my guy Guy Fieri. Got Can you me sing and do that? Oh. Do it again right now, Chuck. Come on, baby. It, it is. Yeah, Chuck, do it right now. <laughs> shout out for Chuck. Right no, shout, out Chuck. shout out to yeah. Guy Fieri. You can't. Do it right now, Chuck. No, Chuck no, face come on. Is this, this, right. How much longer can this last? Oh. There we go. Oh. There you go, Chuck. You want to try that with Holly? No, 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 Chuck. No, not with that big old cookie. No, I'm not putting that old big old cookie on my back. Hey, that's not that impressive. This man has never dropped food in every day in his life. Come on, Chuck. Uh, come no, on. no, no, no. Come I, on, I, make them happy. No, no, hey. I'll eat a piece of me. No, no, hold on. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> hold on. You'll do what? <laughs> why, why you don't want him to eat the shack cookie? Why did you want him to eat the shack cookie? 
Why would you get offended by him grabbing the Shaq cookie? I don't want you to eat. <laughs> I'm not going to say Wait, why did you get offended that he grabbed man, the Shaq cookie? Man, your big old head tastes good. Oh, already you put your... Oh, uh, let me see what these Shaq cookies taste like. Oh, see? Mm. I was getting ready to see.